Hi, welcome to Troubadour's videos. Today we're going to take a look at EVGA's GTX 460 Super Clocked Edition Graphics Card. And here it is. This is the GTX 460 Super Clocked Edition from EVGA. Now this graphics card comes with 768 megabyte of super fast GDDR5 memory. So let's take this card out of the box and see exactly what this card looks like as well as what accessories come with the GTX 460. With the GTX 460, you'll receive a user's guide, a installation CD or DVD with case decal, as well as a quick install or quick start guide, a GTX 400 bumper sticker, and the main packaging. Now this packaging is recycled cardboard by the looks of it. Uh, does look like EVGA is starting to be sustainable or going sustainable. Who knows, EVGA or NVIDIA going green. Yeah, whatever. But let's have a look at this packaging. Inside the main box itself, we have a graphics card. We're going to take this out. We're going to have a look at this graphics card in a moment. As well as two power dongles. These are converter power dongles. These are Molex to 6 pin. And you will also receive a... Let's take this out of the wrapper so you can see here. This is a mini HDMI to regular HDMI adapter dongle. You'll also receive your regular DVI to VGA adapter. And here is the GTX 460 Super Clocked Edition from EVGA in the bag. Let's take it out, but before we do, notice this only has a caution sticker saying electrostatic sensitive devices. It lacks the decal from the GTX 480 saying Leave your PC cool down for at least 20 minutes prior to touching the card, or you could burst into flames. So I'm assuming this card will run a little cooler and will hopefully draw a lot less watts when we test this card in some benchmarking. But let's have a look at this card. And here we go. EVJ's GTX 460 Super Clock Edition Graphics Card. Now does have a couple of other decals on there. There you go. Let's remove those protective layers and show you the true colors of this card. So let's have a closer look at this card and some of the details that come with it, especially some of the functionality. We will be benchmarking this card and comparing it to some other cards within the same price range. So feel free to check back for those videos. But let's have a closer look at this graphics card. On the back PCI bracket of the graphics card, you have this vent for venting the heat off the card, as well as a mini HDMI and two DVI connection ports. On the side of the card, we have a SLI connector. Now this card can be used in SLI. Unfortunately, due to the limitations, cannot be used for three-way or four-way SLI. On the back of the card, we have our two six-pin power hookups and a fan connector. One of the first things you do actually notice with this graphics card is the huge cooling fan in the middle of the card itself. Now this graphics card isn't 100% external exhaust, which means it doesn't pump all the air out to the back of the card itself. It actually vents some of the hot air into your PC case. Now in my experience, this cooling solution does assist in running the graphics card a couple of few degrees cooler than the dedicated external exhaust uh, variety. Uh, but we'll be checking those temperatures out in the benchmarks itself. So feel free to check back for those benchmarks, but let's have a look at some of the other detailing on this card.
Thanks again for watching Troubadour's videos. I hope you enjoyed this video. And don't forget to subscribe to us on YouTube if you wish to stay up to date with the latest and greatest in extreme PC and gaming hardware. Or feel free to follow us on Facebook using the following web link.